Welcome, this is a flight and I am currently taxiing onto the runway. Press shift 5 to display the overhead panel and turn on the landing light by clicking the switch in the lower left Let's corner. The then the press shift 5 uh, again to close the overhead. I won't use it. Before we take off, let's review exactly what will happen. Uh, play, You'll play, control the aircraft and I'll handle the radios. I'll call out 80 knots, V1, rotate, and V2. When I say rotate, gently pull back on the stick to raise the nose to 15 degrees nose up on the primary flight display. I'll tell you to retract the landing gear once we're climbing. Once we reach 1,000 feet above the runway, I'll tell you to pitch down to 10 degrees nose up and to raise the flaps so we can accelerate. Our initial climb will be to our cruise altitude of 6,000 feet, and the departure controller will probably tell us to make a left turn to the west. I'll let you know when to turn. You're over-controlling. Use less pressure on the stick. Let's line up with the lines. Orbit 526, winds are calm, runway 6 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, orbit 526. Clear for takeoff, take it off. All right, we're clear go. to go. When you're ready, use the throttle lever on your joystick or press the F3 key to add thrust. Start with 50% N1. Let the engine stabilize and then increase thrust to 100%. Okay. We're taking off. 80 knots. Rotate. Slowly pitch up to 15 degrees. V2. Positive rate, gear up. Raise the landing gear by pressing the G key. Okay, we're in the sky. Taking off at 15 degrees. Orbit 526, switching. Okay, move the stick to adjust pitch to 10 degrees nose up on the primary flight display and raise the flaps. Reduce thrust to about 80% N1 to keep our speed below 250 knots. Climb and maintain 6,000 feet. 6,000 feet, sir. Edinburgh departure, orbit 526 with you, climbing to 6,000. We have taken off from Edinburgh. Orbit 526, roger. Orbit 526, turn left, heading to 270. Left to 270, orbit 526. Okay, it's time for the turn. Make a nice easy left turn until our heading is 270 degrees. That's due west. Let's run through the after takeoff checklist. Landing gear, up. We're Level off at 6,000 feet and reduce thrust to about 60% and one. That should give us about 250 knots. We're over speed, much over speed. That's why the alarm is on. Flaps, up. We'll stay low on this short flight, so don't exceed 250 knots and keep the landing lights on. This is standard practice, below 10,000 feet. So we're here. You want to see the map? We're there. Thrust set to 80% and 1 for the climb. After takeoff checklist complete. Orbit 526, resume and navigation. Don't exceed 250 knots below 10,000 feet. Okay. Resume on navigation, orbit 526. All right, we've been told to resume our own navigation. This so means the controller will no longer be giving us vectors, and we should follow our file flight plan. Our flight plan route takes us to a point that will line us up for an approach to Glasgow's runway 23, which is currently the active runway. You can use the mission compass to navigate to that point, or you can follow our flight plan on the map page of the navigation display. The pink line on the screen is the path we should be following. So currently we're flying to Glasgow. So we have to go straight and then we'll turn. It's not a really long flight. It only takes 15 minutes. This is a Bombardier. I think I see the runway on the right. Yeah, I think that's the runway.
don't know how to zoom in. So 
วิทย์